Hello, all. Seeking to commune with the old ones but are unable to find a cabal? Fear not, broken one. We have a Discord. If you desire the latest Brokenverse news, looking for a group to play tabletop games with, or even just want to hang out with a cool group of eldritch monsters, we have what you need. Find our Discord link at linktree forward slash the Broken Lords. That's L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E forward slash the Broken Lords. Now we return to our descent into the unknown. The long dark took everything from us. It took our crops, our countries, and for many of us, our lives. We managed to survive underground, burrowed underneath the corpse that is this earth. So many years have passed, we have lost track of time. Yet there are still those who live with us that remember what the surface once was and long for its return. Balking against the mandates of the ordered governments and the Quisustanat, there are those that would dare risk their freedom and even their lives to see one last glimpse of what the surface once was. We are the brave. We are the bold. We are the ones that seek the surface. We seek the land of Viridian, the one that was once promised to us. So, which roadway are we coming in on here? So, Azim is traveling through this, um, calling it a dearth path wouldn't be right, but it's clear that there's some heavy indentation in the rock, which is kind of similar to the alabaster path that you saw before. It's well-worn, indicating that this path has been well-traveled by merchant carts and the like. So, she moves into this area that kind of looks like an open bazaar. There are people peddling random wares, you hear people talking, hawkers cold calling about their items, such as, like, The finest lichen, only at this booth! Three for five! Three for five! Hell yes. Swords! The finest swords in all the land, only here at a books! There are people wandering about the booths, which tend to be covered by large tarp tents. You also see a greeter walking about in fine clothes, yelling, Welcome to Elbridge! Welcome to Elbridge! The finest wares in all the land! He's a very foppish-looking human, wearing fine linens, dark green, and he's wandering back and forth, greeting people. How foppulent. Oh yeah, very foppulent. He is the foppest of fops, one might say. <laughs> High-tier clothing, almost regal in his choice. Damn, fancy <laughs> carrot. <Derek. laughs> a well-worn cap that still shows quality handiwork. Ah, oh, crap. I don't have a good token for this guard. Um, I I guess I'll use this warg. Guard, warg, it's the same thing. Yeah, totally the same. Don't worry about it. He's carrying a fine wooden staff that is ornate and carved with opulent runes. It's kind of all over the place. It's a cal- calligraphic mess. <laughs> Carrick, you see this guy is kind of like a weeaboo? You can tell that he doesn't really know what's actually written on the staff, because oh. there's just <laughs> so much random scribbling on it. The only thing you can make out is something like, I like butts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I, I'm definitely gonna wander over to that guy and, like, do, like, the appreciative Robert De Niro face, like, the head nod with the, the like, yeah. frown, and, like, yeah, that's some fascinating script you've got on that fine piece of hardware i see that you have an eye for scripts for this was written by one of the finest mages in the whole city the finest mages in the city wrote that ah yes <laughs> yes only the finest here in verota oh my that's that's wonderful ah. news there might soon be a new finest mage in the land <laughs> <laughs> oh oh my sir i didn't realize you were also a student of the arcane gifts my apologies for not seeing it before. Could I interest you in directing you towards this particular tent? And he starts ushering you over to a particular tent. Oh, I I gotta see this. I gotta see this shit. Yeah, so you're looking at a booth, and most of the items there are run-of-the-mill quality at best. You're looking at a table strewn with just generic 
terrible looking struggle wands <laughs> fashioned from old poverty desks that they happen to have salvaged. Oh, yeah. It's dollar wand, guys. The store is dollar wand. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, dollar wand isn't too far off. <laughs> Definitely wands with a Z. Dollar wands. <laughs> yeah, no, that's exactly what it is. It's not dollar wands, but it's golden wands. Yeah. But the word wands is misspelled. Yeah. Golden is spelled with a zero instead oh, of an O. Oh, God. <laughs> wands has got like two Zs at the end oh. of it. Oh, no. This is feeling more and more like a music video. You see this half work wearing the equivalent of bifocals, kind of moderating over the wares. You can tell he's the shopkeep, and he looks up. Ah, Mustafa, I see you have brought another one of concerning taste to my table. <laughs> and the weeaboo, who appears to be named Mustafa, excuses himself from the table. Wandaboo. Wandaboo? <laughs> <laughs> He's a wonderful. Ah, come in, come in. I have many things to show you. Carrot kind of like politely clears his throat and he's like, um <laughs> Did you make that quarter staff that that man carries? Ah, yes. Only the finest for the finest arcane collectors. Interesting. You know, I've been studying the arcane arts for uh, 60 years now. 70 years? I kind of scratch my nose, and I'm like, the script on that staff was quite unusual. <laughs> ah, yes, you're one of discerning taste. I can tell you're educated in the arcane gifts, and he brandishes a wand that has a draconic insignia that says something along the lines of, the world is a fuck. <laughs> you know what? I like this. I actually, I like this. I think we should rock this stuff. <laughs> I like this guy's magical shitposting emporium. <laughs> <laughs> magical shitposting. <laughs> That's going to be our tent. <laughs> He's showing off these vine wands, and clearly it looks like they're just random branches that were repurposed <laughs> from random cave balls. There's really no consistency of quality. You can't tell if he's trying his best and is out of his depth where he really doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> so tell me, do you have a do you have a reference book for the variation on draconic that you use? Ah, yes. I was gifted this wondrous tome by the great and powerful Barlovon, the greatest arcane scrutinist in all of this land. Arcane <laughs> scrutinist. <laughs> Is the tome for sale? But it is the source of all these wonders you see in front of you. It encompasses the combined knowledge of all the wizards from the Hanche district to the Wash. I mean, I, I'm thinking this guy must live in the Wash because it's a Wash for him. <laughs> it's all fucking oh he's God. washed. It's over. <laughs> I apologize, sir, but I simply cannot part with this tome. It was a gift given to me by the great Barlavan himself. Ooh, Barlavan, you say? Oh, you know the works of the mighty Barlavan, the greatest arcanist in all this land. I don't know about greatest arcanist, but listen, Barlavan, he's got some, he's got some good wares. The quality is impeccable. He like, he like elbows Carrick. This is, <laughs> I wouldn't pass up on something like this or something that's been assuaged by Barlavon. history to see if the greatest magical screwtator of the world is someone <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, with that role, you can uh, safely determine that uh, he is not one of the greatest. <laughs> oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I, I, like, I, I, like, rub my jaw I be like, yes, Bar Barlavon, <laughs> I remember... I remember now. Yes, with someone with as much prestige and knowledge about the subject of the arcane gifts, I would imagine you are very familiar with the works of Barlavon. Does Barlavon still live in the city? Well, of course he lives in Verota, along with the other fine arcane minds that we have. He lives quite comfortably in the ah, Hanche district. Fascinating. Barlavon seems to be a collector of superlatives. Well, of course he's a collector of superlatives, along with other elements of high prestige. <laughs> He is the greatest! I'll have to pay a visit to Barlavon. <laughs> this walking billboard! I'm sure he'll be delighted to meet you. He lives in the northeastern district of Hanche, where he sells only the finest of arcane wares. Oh my god. He eyes Krusk's sword. If you are also in the market for a fine sword, he also is a great armorer and weaponsmith. You know, it's true. The 
the only time I ever take a stroll down to Hanche is to visit Bar Levan shop. You know, if we need a place to stock up on supplies, that is where I would say that we go. <laughs> ah, so you have shopped with Bar Levan before. Of course. <laughs> Me and Bar Levan, we go way back. <laughs> See, he looks self-satisfied. Another satisfied customer. Oh, so, so if I visit Barlovan, he could teach me this unique variant of Draconic that I've never encountered. Can I roll insight to know that some shit is being smeared on these walls? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're 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 fucking bullying this guy, and he doesn't know it, and that's the best. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm I'm sniffing what I'm stepping in, I guess. <laughs> like I'm just, my eyes are just darting back and forth between the very exuberant <laughs> shopkeep and bullshitters one, two, and three, and I and like looking at Azeev and like just mouthing like, "What is happening right now?" <laughs> you turn around to address Azeev, and I'm sorry, Embrin, she is gone. She doesn't want any part of this. Hi, Azeev. <laughs> Can I interest you in this wing feather tipped wand? It's going fast. It is soon to be a collector's item for sure. And he pulls out this terrible looking vine wand that looks like a strong breeze would snap it in half. There is clear and present signs of water damage on the vine. It doesn't look good. It looks like it's in real dire straits. <laughs> it certainly looks like it's going fast, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> The quality seems impeccable on this one. Carrick, I wouldn't pass up on Please, such a thing. Sir, give me a Devin. <laughs> oh, no. He waves the wand in a grand gesticulation, and you see Draconic script suddenly explode from the wand. This joint right here was made by Barlavon. All my love to all my haters. <laughs> it don't matter what I write here, because most of y'all can't read this anyways. Thanks for the money you mark. Oh my god. I want it. <laughs> I actually kind of want this fucking wand. <laughs> I'm going to nod my can't. head approvingly at that. I'm like, what craftsmanship? <laughs> I only have two fucking lungs, yo. Oh my god. And this fine triumph of arcane manipulation can be yours for only five gold pieces. Five gold pieces for a whole wand. Holy shit. Holy shit. Five gold pieces. <laughs> Listen, Carrie, that is... Why with he... that low price, it practically sells itself. He thinks he has this sale in the bag. It does. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Fucking the body by Barlevon <laughs> wand. Alright, speaking of getting bodied, I'm gonna roll persuasion on this oh, guy to haggle his down on the place. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you're lucky i don't have inspiration right now because i would fucking i would use it on this ignorance oh my God. <laughs> on second impression it looks even less impressive and you're not sure how that's even possible <laughs> what the fuck is happening <laughs> i'm gonna be like well sir you know a wand of that caliber it's virtually unheard of in all my years of studying magic, I'm very impressed. However, the the magic of the item is not in question, but the material it's made out of, it looks very breakable. <laughs> now, now, I could give you a whole dissertation on why Bramblevine is a poor choice for an enchantment of this quality. I believe what has happened here is that whoever harvested this vine for, for good Barlevon <laughs> Made a mistake. You say that they made a faux pas? Yes, he was given an inferior bramble vine. He looks aghast at the prospect that some huckster would besmirch the good name of the mighty Barlavon. And honestly, for, for, Carrick lowers his voice, for the reputation of your goods, sir, that piece shouldn't be in your collection. I'll gladly take it off your hands for three gold teeth. <laughs> he looks visibly <laughs> flustered, his brilliant emerald skin whitening at the horrific prospect that some merchant would have taken advantage of the great arcanist. Yes, sir, if it is what you say, we can't have this. 
We can't have the mighty name of Barlavon besmirched. No, and, and as soon as I meet him, I'm going to tell him that he needs to find a new supplier for his material good. Of course, sir. Uh, I'll relay the message as soon as I can.